Hello everyone, talking some more Richard Matheson stories today from this collection from Penguin Classics, the best of Richard Matheson. I'm going to be talking about three stories. The first one I'm going to talk about is Duel, which is maybe one of Matheson's most famous stories because it was made into um, a fantastic movie by Steven Spielberg, uh, which a movie Spielberg made for television in 1971. Um, the Matheson short story and the movie are almost identical. Um, Matheson wrote the script for the film, and if you read the short story, it, it's a brilliant piece of writing, just at, as it describes this chase. And I should say, if you're not familiar with Duel, it's basically about a um, motorist um, who is being... Um, pursued by a truck. A truck that's trying to not just mess with, mess with him, but really trying to, to kill him. And it's, um, it's a really gripping story that translated really well into cinema. Um, the protagonist is simply named um, Man, M-A-N-N, Man. And it's on the um, highways of California. And at first he He's going to work, he's a salesman, and he has a long drive for a business meeting he's going to attend, and on the way, he passes this truck, and then the truck passes him, you know, and, and I think what's great about the scenario is how relatable it is, like road rage is still a big thing these days, um, there's just road rage everywhere all over the world, and this was a story, I don't think it was the first story by no means, but it was one of those stories that was about taking the concept of road rage and kind of asking, well, where does it go? Where does it lead us? And the the short story, it's very visceral. It, it's, it has a great narrative sense to it as we move from the story of Matheson telling it from, from man's point of view. It's also probably one of the definitive Matheson stories in that it it goes back to that that big theme in his work of the lone individual who finds themselves um, in a in in a battle in 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 a battle for their life with something they had no idea that was coming you know and like the story Prey we talked about earlier um, his novel The Incredible Shrinking Man. And I think it's to kind of move beyond looking at the layers of that type of story. You know, I think something like um, the Cold War had something to do with that. The idea of how everything seems really good on the surface, really interesting. And then without warning, something terrible can happen. You know, the sort of the weird dichotomy of, of post-war life, of of prosperity and consumerism and technology and all these things, but also the knowledge that all of that could just disappear within within minutes. And I think stories like this really kind of get into how quickly you know our world can collapse on us, and that we're battling for survival. And Duel is one of um, the great examples of that. So, like I said, I don't have too much more to say about the story. I mean, there's been different interpretations of it as well as as a story of class conflict, um, a story about masculinity, um, you know, under under peril. So those are great interpretations too. But but it's just a really good story. And if you've not seen the movie, highly recommend the movie. As I said, directed by Steven Spielberg and um, his. Technically not his first movie, but it was the movie that really put him on the map, and it, and it was made for television. His first real motion picture would be the Sugarland Express a few years later, but, but it's really the work that propelled Spielberg in, into um, his career. So the next story I'm going to talk about is entitled is it Day of Reckoning, I believe. Yes, Day of Reckoning. This is a strange story. Um, this is... It's um, a story told through letters, I guess an epistolatory story where it's told through letters. And um, 
it's a hard story to describe because it's about it has to deal with with um revenge with um unpaid debts and it's it's also very short and it's almost like a cubist story almost where you have to you have to kind of figure out in between the lines what's going on in the story. Um, I wish Mathis had maybe fleshed it out a little bit more. Like it is a little slight. I think a little bit more context may have helped the story, but as kind of an, an experiment in, in minimal, minimalist storytelling where the reader really has to kind of fill in the blanks, it's an interesting experiment. And, in that way. So that was Day of Reckoning. And then the last story I'll talk about is called um, The Prisoner, which is about a um, a man who wakes up, discovers he's in prison. He's completely freaked out. He's like, how did I get here? And people are calling him by a different name and has absolutely no idea what's going on. We later find out that he thinks it's 1944 but it's actually 1954. And not only that he's in prison, but he's also on death row. Like his, he's about to be executed. And it's, um, um, the ending, it's one of those stories where it doesn't necessarily have like a, a, a great twist ending to it. Um, I won't reveal like the, if I reveal like the key plot point, it would kind of ruin the, spoil the story a bit. But like I said, it's um an interesting concept for a story. Once again, I wish it had been fleshed out a little bit more. I think the story could have worked. But once again, Matheson is kind of holding back a little bit here and um, letting the reader kind of make their own interpretation of what's going on. So, so um, yeah, so three um, very interesting stories. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back to talk about more soon.